Hey guys, today I have um, a little screen shot here of the Spoonflower website with the new changes with the new year going on. My pillows are attacking me. Um, and there are some changes where before you could upload your designs and you had to make a purchase of, um, you know, you could do a fill a yard type of thing or wear swatches or different fabrics. And this time, it is changed to um, a, a new process where you actually check your seamless pattern on their new little button that you push. So I thought I would just take you through. I'm in my design library and I've got a lot that you can organize it here from all of your designs, designs that you have already for sale, public ones that are not for sale, but the public can see them. Like for example, when you enter into design challenges and then you have private designs that have not yet obviously been um, for sale or public <laughs> or in a challenge. And then you have your collections. So I've checked on my private designs here and I have some that I need to upload today. And um, if you go through there, um, for example, we can pick, let's pick one here. Um, well, we can try the new bird one. So I painted a bird and some flowers. And then if we go ahead and click on that. And let's see here. So it looks the same in terms of um, everything here is uh, the same on this right side where you can do wallpaper, fabric, um, you can check out like a test swatch version to see with the little ruler how, uh, how big your design scale is. You can click on the products so that you can see them that way. But then when you come down here, this is all the same, you have your um, little areas to add your tags and things and then um the difference is down here oh i picked one that was already approved <laughs> i'll have to go back um this is where it gets to be different um so let's pick um let's pick our vegetables here <laughs> that's our new um resolution eat more vegetables paint more vegetables so here we've got all of that so let's go down to the bottom so here is where it's different here it says proofing is required to sell you may also learn about selling and commissions at spoonflower if you wish proof design so it is um and it's whatever file scale you upload that is what will be shown here so if i click proof design it's going to load my vegetables it gives you a little window that says that this pink box here is outlined the repeatable part of your design and that it will zoom in when I hit start. So it's gonna go in the top left corner, woo! <laughs> um, and you can see this bar pops up here, it looks good. I see an issue so you can back out of there. You can get rid of the pink line like that and then questions and then uh, full screen if you wanted to do that. Um, which I don't think I do. Okay, so you can just hit this minus here. You can start to see it coming down. There's my carrot. <laughs> and then you can check to see if you your repeatable pattern is fine. If you have any, um, you know, you can see if you've made a mistake and something's wonky. Um, you can get rid of this pink box here or put it back on. You can actually get rid of this bar as well so that you can see the whole thing. Uh, if that is a better way for your eye to catch it. Um, this looks good to me. Um, of course, I've already checked it on another website, so I knew that when I loaded it up, but um, you have to do this. So this is in lieu of purchasing. Now you still can purchase something if you want to see it physically. Um, I'm gonna click looks good. And then you can see here what it says now. So it's not public yet. Um, it says your design has been proofed and then when I check these boxes then it will be made for sale and this is important because they have put a new limit on um, Spoonflower how many um, 
the designs you can make for sale in a given calendar week, Sunday through Saturday, I believe it is. You can read the new um, program up at the top of your account. And um, obviously, I'm not ready. I haven't filled all of this information out. Um, I got to do my tags and fill all this good stuff out. Um, but then you can decide whether or not you want both of these or whether your design is specifically for wallpaper or fabric. And either way, um, once you check these boxes, it would be made for sale. So what's nice is you can proof a bunch of them and have them at the ready, and then you can figure out, you know, maybe by collection or something like that, what is, um, which ones you want to release per week. And of course, if you're entering a design challenge, um, which you can find these up in the upper corner, um, which tomorrow at the time of this recording, anyways, um, we will be, the welcoming walls will be voting, um, but they post their new current challenges as well as the ones that um, are going on. And then you can click on your own challenges as well. So this is Spoonflower. I think that, um, I think many of the changes will be good in the sense that the search engine will not be flooded with maybe lesser quality designs or a gazillion of one pattern in 40 different colors, you know, and then people are sort of overwhelmed. So I think it's an attempt for quality control as well as um, choices. And of course, with any Spoonflower designer, if you contact them, I'm sure they'll be able to get you, um, you know, if you have a different colorway or a different scale, they work with you on that. So now it would be much easier if someone requests a color scale rather than have to purchase it. But hopefully that helps you out. Um, Spoonflowers is a great site. Um, if you're interested in sewing and fabric and wallpaper, um, it is a beautiful site um, filled with, I've got lots, I'll type in my name here, um, all the ones that I have for sale. So here's my block printing one that um, I um, entered into the block printing contest and, and so forth. So those are the ones that I have for sale. Okay, guys, hit the links below. Don't forget to check out all of those. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.